A series of new factors out today and yesterday suggests that a $1,400 stimulus check under the third stimulus package may not be enough. Wall Street is worried about an impending bubble bursting. Next, unemployment numbers are not improving. Third, low-income people are having problems getting re-employed since the pandemic started, a concern the Federal Reserve expressed several times, including last week. And fourth, a concern that there's not enough doses of the vaccine to distribute to reopen businesses across the country as the president had hoped for to get this economy going. And with that, is a $1,400 stimulus check going to get people to the finish line? No. In this recording, this channel goes over why Congress has done this good before, where they saw that there was a problem and suddenly at the 11th hour changed it and went bigger on a stimulus check. Now is the time for Congress to do that again, to go big and bold on a stimulus check and not keep it small at $1,400. This is a major recording of Early Mornings a la Light. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's early morning to LLA, the 6 a.m. edition, and I'm so excited you're here. The toast is toasted, the butter is buttering. I'm here, you're here. And next week, we will see the third stimulus package bill in its form, in its details, and what a week it will be. So you have to subscribe because this channel is recording 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The most comprehensive channel there is online, the most in-depth channel, with videos from 1 a.m. to 1 a.m. the next day, no less than 12 shows on this channel, going over all the details, whether it's hazard pay or SSI to ensure you get every penny you're owed under the third stimulus package. So make sure you subscribe. Also, like this video. And if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member. The member link is in the top of the chat, also at the top of the video, and also in the description and pinned comment. Become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP. In this video, I have so much to go over, but first, there's an instant chat. So don't forget to chat with your Purple Power buddies. Interact and talk about what you think on the stimulus chat. But in this video, I'll be going over why there's new impetus, new movement, new progress to potentially get this as a bigger stimulus check. Congress has done this before. Now is the time to do it again. And with that, let's get to the breaking news. The breaking news is you start this new morning, this early morning here on a Saturday morning, ready to crush the morning, is that there's a series of factors that are not particularly good that suggest you need bigger stimulus checks. Now, the third stimulus package, when you look at the other provisions in there, all talk about expiration dates of September and December. When you look at those, they generally seem to sound like this is a stimulus package to get to the end of the pandemic. This is not a stimulus package to get you for 60 days. This is not a short-term package. This doesn't look like this is one of several stimulus packages you're going to get during this pandemic from this administration. This looks like this is it, and this is the final one. Now, Joe Biden said a stimulus package is as often as you need to get to the end of the pandemic, but, you know, <laughs> the way this one is look written and looks like this is the only package to get to the end of the pandemic. So then we look at the stimulus checks. Are the amounts sufficient? No. $1,400 for single individuals, double that for married couple, $1,400 for children, and $3,200 for adult dependents. But that is to get you to the end of the pandemic. And it's also a check that you were owed last year. Make it very clear, the $1,400 is a leftover fix-it check from last year. You were owed it last year. Last year, you got a $600 stimulus check, presuming yours has already arrived. And they said, you know what, that's not enough. We'll give you the remainder, get you to $2,000. Even $2,000 in December was not enough. Why? Because you hadn't gotten anything since March. You went nearly the entire year of 2020 with a single $1,200 stimulus check. But in December 2020, we saw Congress certainly do a great thing. They had gone from a group of people who don't want to give a stimulus check to suddenly people that said, you know, $2,000 is a good number. 
It's a good number. I haven't said this in a while, but in summer of 2020, I reported that no one really knew where the number $1,200 came from. It just sort of appeared. It certainly predates this channel, but there's never been any writings that said where that $1,200 number came from. It just sort of popped out. It's sort of like the $2,000 number. We don't know where it came from. It just sort of appeared. But people generally think that $2,000, or at least for a short period of time, is sufficient. Now, $2,000 in December, that's sort of good, but you didn't get it. You got $600, and they said the remainder of it you'll get in January with an additional new $2,000 stimulus check. But now they're not doing that. So is $1,400 enough to get from now to September or August? No, not enough. And here's what makes the situation different this Saturday morning. What makes it different is that the situation that upon which the bill was written has changed. When the bill was written, everything thought about at that time is not what it is today. And this is the first time you're hearing this from this channel or perhaps anywhere else. At the time that Joe Biden wrote this bill, he thought he could deliver 100 million doses and 100 million vaccinations in 100 days. He now knows he absolutely cannot. It's not a question or dispute or a partisan argument. It's actually functionally not possible. There's not a hundred thousand, there's not a hundred million doses around. So that basis is no longer a reality. And that basis was step one to saying, hey, we can reopen the economy in 90 days and reopen schools. That's what he also said, because we're going to vaccinate so many people. When you can't vaccinate so many people, then you can't reopen businesses. And if we can't reopen businesses, then people are unemployed. And what about unemployment numbers? They're not improving. They're just not improving. Last week, Jerome Powell, head of the Federal Reserve, says, we are concerned that unemployment numbers are not improving. We're concerned that there's not re-employment of low-income people. People who made less than $49,000 before the pandemic hit are being hurt the most because they have not been re-employed more than people who are rich or six-figure income salary. Those type of people have already gone back to work. They have their jobs back. People low-income don't have their jobs back. And a lot of those jobs are still closed because there's not enough vaccines. Those are two of the Three items that are really suggesting that, hey, you need a bigger stimulus check. And the reason why you need a bigger one is because the pandemic is not going to be over in August anymore or September. Because there's not enough doses, then there's not going to be enough mass vaccinations. And people will not be vaccinated till at least winter of 2021, we now hear. Not the summer, not the spring. The bill is written on the presumption that people will be vaccinated in the summer, spring, and business will be reopened. That's not happening. And so with that not happening, you're going to need a stimulus check to carry it longer. Longer than a few months. This stimulus check needs to cover you to October or November. And it ain't $1,400. The next item that really could change the stimulus discussion is Wall Street. Wall Street, by all accounts, is at the cusp of an exploding, bursting bubble. And that was shown on Friday and Thursday. Wall Street on Friday ended down 620 points. No bueno. Down 2%. It's the low, lowest market close since December 14th. It's the first time the market has chose close below the 30,000 uh, point mark. And some stocks dropped almost 4%, like Apple. This is a result of concerns that there's a bubble about to burst. Crazy stuff from uh, companies like GameStop and things like Robinhood caused market jitters to go out of control. Lack of understanding of what the situation suggests that if there is a bubble burst, if the market does crash, are we going to sit back and say, hey, here's your $1,400 stimulus check. Enjoy a crash market and your exhausted savings disappear disappearing. I'll see you at the end of the pandemic. Mm -mm, no, that don't work. Uh, Matt Malley, chief strategist at Miller Tab Bank, says there's way too much leverage debt in the system. And we're starting to see signs that the excess leverage debt is going to be unwound in a way they'll create headwinds for the stock market and other risk assets for the markets in a few days. Meaning that there's too much debt, there's too much risk, things could go south very quickly. If they go south, then you need more stimulus. 
this apparent budding crisis needs regulatory warnings and mainstream media alerts. <laughs> I'm mentioning it. As to the dangers this week, both to overall markets and individual investors, Gross wrote. Uh, that is uh, uh, chief billionaire bond investor Bill Gross. Finally, Manish <coughs> Despatan, head of equity derivatives at Barclays, says market exposure short term is not particularly good. So you see that um, <coughs> you see that the environment right now is really on the cusp of going from poor to potentially very bad. And if you see that, why are you being stingy on a stimulus check? This is not the time or place to be stingy on a stimulus check. If you see the market actually potentially getting very bad very quickly, you see unemployment numbers getting very bad very quickly. And also what I detailed last night on evenings LA, or actually afternoons LA, is that the airlines are now telling their furlough, telling their employees there's a risk that they may be furloughed again because they do not see return to travel. Why? Because again, not enough vaccination. There's not a return to travel so predicted. So what do you think? Let me answer some of your questions from yesterday's video. Video. Rich E. Hutchinson, Richie Hutchison, Social Security hasn't had a decent raise ever. Very well said. Jerry Ehrlich, SOS, it's embarrassing. Why do they get off acting like they're doing us a big favor? The world sees our government couldn't care less about us. Uh, so the, the interesting thing that Jerry brings up is that can Congress go higher on the stimulus check? Yes, they can. And this is what's really good news. In December, Congress, you know, didn't even want to give you a stimulus check. Then they're like, okay, here's some $600. But shortly thereafter, in less than a week, they said $2,000, that's a good number. It's a good number. Well, as you sit here today, that good number needs to land in your good hand. You do need a $2,000 stimulus check right now. And if you need more, then you need more $2,000 stimulus check. But $1,400, we're going backwards. We're going backwards to measly checks, stingy checks, small checks. They don't do it. This is not the time or place to be stingy on a check when there's lack of doses of vaccine, unemployment numbers are bad, uh, furloughed workers are being told they may be laid off. This is not a time to be stingy on checks. Tavia Thagadis, we need action now. People are hurting. Just vote and get it done. Toby, this reminds me of the movie 2012, where only certain people mattered. Now the people like us, we're drowning without the water. Cheryl Wells, so when is it supposed to get raised? Who wears our raise? We can't live on here on SSI and Railroad Benefits without a raise. Scott Brock, they live in a bubble and we all live outside the bubble trying to survive. Shannon Elizabeth, it's so hard to believe that we don't have it yet. Maybe we can go to their homes and get, it bed and bed, get some bed and board. <laughs> Fox. Chancellor, that's the screen name actually, Fox Chancellor would like to see all of them survive Social Security alone with their being on their own income. They could stretch their dollar either. They do what they promise for the American people. Andy Porter, we should actually get we should actually get $1,400 cash act, $2,000 for January 2021, and February $2,000 again. I agree, Andy Porter. Do you agree with Andy Porter's comments? Drop in the comments below if you agree with Andy Porter. Sherilyn Mano, politicians always promising while they're running in elections. Well said. Kathleen Rose Wise, seen as believing, believing the scene. When are we getting anything in stimulus checks? Steve Caldwell, they must think we're dogs. All they do is throw us a bone. Well said. Really great comments. If you have comments or questions in today's video, drop them in the comments below. I'd love to hear them and feature them in tomorrow's recording. In the continuation of Early Mornings LA at 6.30 a.m., about 30 minutes after this video, I will be back on air and go over what is actually in the third stimulus in addition to the stimulus check and why those items need to be modified whether it's F F FPUC or whether it's hazard pay, whether it's the absence of SSI and SSDI. I'll go into detail what other 22 items and why they need to get modified and why the push of the Purple Power is pushing very loud and clear. And with that, make sure you push to like this video. Liking the video helps the algorithm ranking. So if you've been watching this video and you like it, like the video. Meantime, consider becoming a subscriber. We're pushing, we're at 376,000. Try to add another 5,000 next couple days, so make sure you subscribe. I don't want you to miss a single time when I'm next having a video. And the next time is at 8, is at 6.30 a.m. with the continuation of Early Morning to LA. Meantime, if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member. With that, stay informed, stay focused, keep informed, and stay positive.
and stay in LA for more.